Hey everybody, this is Rhino and we are back to Dirt 3. We did all of this first uh, race and got first place. And so I'm going to try to turn up the difficulty here. Uh, but we've got several races here to do. Uh, it is also probably worth saying that I, I have the complete version of this game. Which means... Oh, so these are the team offers. When they offer me a car, that's the team offer. So, the car here that has 556 BHP, which I think stands for British Horsepower, or something, and weighs 1,200 kilograms, all you really have to know is you want the BHP to be the biggest number you can get, and the weight to be the lowest number you can get, because I'm, at least right now, playing with no big ideas of slip. So, I'm never really going to pick a car that's so light and so powerful that it just spins out in circles. Uh, so, 555 versus 556 for the same weight puts the car at the furthest. And this one is 560 at 1200 though. Uh, so, why is this car... Oh... Oh, I see now. There's more to this than than what meets the eye. Down at the lower right hand corner, there's an objective bonus. Can we view the car and see what the objective bonus is as part of it? Developed for use in X Games Super Rally, the Subaru Impreza N13 Rallycross is a more powerful version of its rally counterpart. With over 550 brake horsepower available from the boxer engine and a chassis tuned for circuit racing, the Impreza mm. is a formidable package. Can I go up and down? Not really. You, some people might actually be interested in lifting the hood and seeing the inside. That's, that's a level of detail we've not had. So I can't see the challenge. Whatever the challenge is. But I can tell you how much it's supposed to be. And so an objective bonus of 2,250 sounds better to me than 400. Now when I get to the difficulty section, I'm going to turn it up. We're going to try a race. Welcome to Aspen. It? Here in the birthplace of At extreme winter sports, you're not going to find a lot of pristine racing conditions. Up in the Rockies, you're not only racing against other drivers, but your biggest competitor is Mother Nature herself. Anticipate those icy turns and watch your top speed. Hmm. So I'm kind of thinking that eventually the... I'm going to only receive minor assistance than your opponent. So that brings up difficulty. The three damage is still visual only. But, uh, ABS, which, how do you get info on ABS? ABS helps prevent your brakes from locking up. Yeah, anti-brake locking. And dynamic racing line is still on full, or it could be on just braking. Stability control is on, but corner braking, throttle management are now off. Throttle management modifies your speed to ensure you're at the correct race pace. So, the game was really, really helping me on easy. Let's try this. Because I know that there's something about racing too fast. And you don't want to redline it too much. This is going to be an interesting one. It, the snow is all up in my face. Uh, yeah. Here we go. This is... Look at my car. <laughs> oh, look at this. Oh, and we're glitching. And... I don't know if this is just the snow, or if this is uh, also a factor of... And see, I have a handbrake, so I can try that. Too. Like the audience is 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 jeering. I 
and they, they're afraid I'm going to crash into them. So... So I'm going to have to actually use the left hand trigger on this. Uh, because obviously the throttle management on casual was making it very easy on me and now I've now the truth comes out I'm actually a terrible driver eh. as I assume most people uh, who play racing games are at least somewhat not the best Let's see I'm skidding so much and it'll be interesting to see what happens Let's do a handbrake. Uh, handbrake doesn't seem like I can do uh, sharp doing that using the handbrake. I was thinking maybe I could do that, but nope. So uh, obviously I'm gonna lose here. I'm 16 seconds. I went from being sometimes 16 seconds ahead on in first place to now now 16 seconds behind last place uh, which tells me that the difficulty uh, there might be a custom difficulty re level in the middle that they should have created something where you could just turn up the race of the cars yeah I am and see they all they all freak out. But these characters are way too repeated. And look at the people in the stands. They're loving it. Uh, Alright. So that's not going to work. Let's restart race. Hmm. Hmm. And see, I don't know if that's really the most about the snow, or if that's about, like, I think if corner braking and throttle management were on, I probably could do that. And auto steer is on too? Wow. Switch auto steer on for help with corners. Hmm. Like, how many of these things were on by casual? Everything. <laughs> so, wow. Maybe we'll just turn the difficulty Set up to three. You want your competitors to be here. All right. So we're at a custom, well, custom difficulty, but with everything on. And let's see how that works. Honestly, I could probably be fine with having the difficulty up to the maximum. And now, I, I will say going flat out, probably still not the greatest move. But you can see there's some major throttle control going on here. Uh, and that's exactly what I was hoping to have is... I was hoping I'd eventually run into cars that were so powerful and had so much horsepower and were so fast that they would spin out. But on casual, there's with the auto braking and the auto throttling and auto everything else happening, it, it you literally have to drive off the, the racetrack before you you've done uh, enough to to even not win. You see, I'm gonna try this race a second, a third time with the difficulty to the maximum except for everything on. Although, it would be kind of kind of funny to try it with the pure dirt experience for us. So we'll try this race a couple of times. And see, I'm only ahead of other cars by a small percentage. So it's actually giving me 
uh, run for my money, like one second uh, ahead instead of 16 seconds ahead. And see, I lost ground there. Even though I'm in first position, that doesn't change the fact that I'm still kind of driving badly, even with all the assistance. And so I actually might lose first position. Right. See, I was only one second ahead. And I kind of want to keep that, but I also want to redo the race, so what can I do? Outstanding podium finish. This will really help raise your driver rep. Let's go ahead and hit continue, and then we'll go back into the, to the race. First place plus the objective gives me 2,250. That should knock me up to maybe level 10. You've been invited to compete in a Rockstar Trans World Clash. So far, this season's progressing better than I ever expected. Alright. And it takes me out of the men menu. So I want to do this one again. And let's look here. It still offers 2,250 as an objective bonus. Do I literally get that again? Can I just grind out? Maybe I can, maybe I can't. I guess it Come doesn't on, even mate. matter. Challenge yourself with a higher difficulty. Unless you're chicken, that is. And see, they, they really are telling me to raise the difficulty because I'm doing too well. And the idea of me getting first place in every race is, is kind of crazy. So, I'm going to go advanced. And under advanced... ABS is still on, and difficulty is only 5. Uh, so if we're going to do as difficult as possible, there's a difficulty even above that. And that immediately turns off corner braking if we turn off ABS. <laughs> Dude. So literally the most difficult we could do. Let's see how much we screw this up. So, no line. I've got to pick my line now, which means I also have to know the map because there's no map actually on the, on the screen. So this would require me to memorize some things. Uh, and getting traction under these tires, you can definitely feel that. Too much acceleration. Uh, I, I have to feather the acceleration a little bit more. Get it up into fourth gear if I can, but honestly, probably should only be in fourth gear when I can can s slide. Hmm. Uh, a lot of sliding going on. 16 seconds behind. So, I would say it seems more along the lines of 60% of it, for me, is the fact that I'm a, I'm a bad driver, and 40% of the difficulty is the actual difficulty setting on the characters. Here you can see I'm 25 seconds behind and about to crash again. Let's see if I restart the race after I've taken damage. We should crash into something and see if we can really mess up our driving. It's a demo derby now. I'm going the wrong way. That, that front is 
No, I wasn't trying to do that. Uh, I was trying to do this. And the window's broken already. I'm almost a minute behind. Look at how smashed this is. Can I smash this window? Um, can I smash the side windows? Um, it doesn't seem like you can. Because if I could, they, they would have been smashed by now. We almost left the... Look at that car. Nestle car. Alright. Now if I go back and we start the race, I'm glad it gives you the difficulty settings and everything before you start. When you restart. Difficulty and assist. So we go back to casual. And then with everything enabled, we do the same thing. Just difficulty Set how on challenging six. You want your competitor. And let's race. And let's see. I'm not thinking I'll actually succeed here. But I'm thinking I very possibly will get somewhere between 4th and 5th. With the difficulty at its highest. Uh, this is probably... A good setting for for where I should be. Uh, I something where I can I can't even see the line. There's so much snow here. Where I can actually be challenged to drive properly without being a lunatic and just doing whatever I care about. Uh, but also I I kind of just want to have a laid back fun experience here. And so I think I would probably never change any of the other settings. I'd leave it uh, on the casual assists and then just turn up the difficulty to six. And I feel like this is probably the most amount of challenge I'd ever want in a racing game. And this is a particularly difficult track. So maybe we'll find that some of the other tracks are even even more crazy or have more snow or more ice or something on them and because of that it, it's going to turn into even on casual a challenge uh, turn into a challenge even on casual and see yeah I'm just making position 7 here and there's one more thing, so I actually have to do this race one more time. Because I want to see if I actually get the points again. Because if I do get the points again, that's not... Well, I guess I could continue here and just continue and see if that does anything. Finish position, 100 reps, unused flashbacks. It seems like that does... Like, maybe, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just dropped all of that information. Hmm. So, our next move is to continue down this race, and okay. we spent a Land lot of time a like on the previous only ones. Bigger and more aggressive. The off-road circuits are twisted with jumps, banks, and a whole lot of craziness to keep the races raw. Yeah, the only thing in separating trucks. you and the chaos is your four-wheel drive land rush truck, or the more exposed rear-wheel drive buggies. Stay in control of your nerves, and you'll cross the finish line first. <laughs> this is interesting. I've never even heard of this. Is, is this something that actually happens? 
Um, Texaco Racing. Uh, 296.13.50. 296.13.50. Is this some DLC thing I, I got? Is that why I'm getting so many potential points from it? Hmm. That's Last time out, you played it safe at the back of the pack. Feel for the edge of grip to extract the maximum potential of the car, and today will be a piece of cake. See, now he's talking about that seventh place finish, which I don't think counts. We're going back to just casual. Just casual. We'll just leave everything on casual and make it nice and easy uh, to finish all these races. Nice lens flare there. Go. Now the real question, is it close to impossible to lose on casual? I'd say it almost is. It, it feels like you could put a controller in the 10 year old's hand with this game on casual and they'd probably do all right. And even if they didn't do all right, I think they might enjoy the visuals and have a fun time with it. And surprisingly, I guess this is a child-friendly game. Uh, unless there's something in the lyrics of the music or something. Uh, I don't think there's going to be any real story that happens here. Uh, and it doesn't seem like any of the nicknames were extremely explicit or anything like that, so... Uh, kind of surprisingly, but it really shouldn't be surprising. It seems like this would be a kid-friendly experience. And, man, if I was playing a game that looked this good when I was a kid, uh, my standards on video games would be even higher than they are. Although, I would argue that maybe some of my high standards for video games uh, that led me to being a critic might be because I played a bunch of really bad uh, games when I was young. And so I, I've seen the bad, so now I can, can tell you the good. Or Mostly as a critic, I just point out the bad parts of, of things. So that's kind of why I'm rambling right now. I'm not saying much. There's, there's, there's nothing wrong with this. This runs perfectly. Now, there might be a problem with Dirt 4, and this is just speculation, I don't know anything about Dirt 4, in that it very well might just be a upgrade in visuals to this. And that might mean that if your computer is not the greatest, if your video card is not the greatest, you might This is a good up. step towards the final. Keep it up. If you race like that every time, Lagging we're going to have a lot of having to lower down to. the qualities. Uh, you can see I'm not on ultra settings, and I kind of wish I was on ultra settings for this. Uh, but it looks fine to me. Alright, it seems like you need like 5,000 points or something. To, let's see. And how long are we going? You've qualified for the final. Nicely done. Here's hoping we see you on the podium. Let's see, I don't know what a historic run means other than maybe it's an old race that's not done anymore. And let's hop in here and keep moving. Ooh. And so we have Rally S2000 offers for 2250 from Brimbo, or we have 2250 from T Team Yokohama. Hmm. And we don't know what the objectives are, but let's go ahead and change our car out. Why not? We haven't done that. So 
So this is the Brimbo Plat. You're totally oh. owning the competition in every rally event. Show no mercy. It was the Brimbo Blast, and I you were driving Brimbo cars because of the sponsorship of the race in itself. Hmm. This one looks like a much drier race. Hmm. But also, this kind of looks like something we've already done. It feels like maybe they don't have that many tracks. And we're back to doing actual rally. I like how it's keeping things uh, different. It, it, you, you move so fast between the different types that you'd never get bored with it. And see. Uh, there might be some rally races where you're trying to make a specific race, a specific time, and maybe that is what is happening here, too, in the game. Is, maybe that's why it sputters every now and then and breaks and, and slows down. So yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing. I would guess. And so this might be just about pace setting. <laughs> Did somebody just say what's up? I think somebody just said what's up from the crowd. I have seen some rally car races where people are just standing on the sides of the race and uh that was and awesome. It looks like they might just that to the get world. run over. Put it on YouTube. And see, that's weird. Is there's no button or anything here that says put it on YouTube. Uh, of course, I'm recording using OBS, and and on, and it's not connected to this at all. But it, it seems strange for the game to tell me to do these things. Hmm. So I made a executive decision there as as to test the different difficulties and in the end I chickened out and decided to do just the uh, do casual. Alright. And this is where we're going to end. Uh, win and lead by one second. Probably can do that. Uh, We'll start right back here next time. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment, and watch every second of my videos. If you want a friend to follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.